Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And I do have another special guest with me. So if you guys would like to hear who my special guest is and also see my products that I'm liking and maybe not liking, keep on watching. Today's special guest that I have from with me is Annabelle Marie and her name is actually Christy and she is the daughter-in-law to uh, Marlene Fab and Glam over 50 who I've already collabed with several different times and had her join me in one of these segments as well as her daughter I had last last week uh, Stephanie and so I wanted to also ask Christy if she wanted to join me along in this whole segment that I've been working with I have to say, Annabelle, oh my goodness, her eyes. She has some of the most gorgeous blue eyes that I see on here. I kid you not, they're, they're just vivid blue eyes. That's like the first thing that I, I notice as soon as I see her. It's like, boom, you know, her eyes. It's she just draws you in. A lot of these people with their eyes, they just draw me in when they have them eyes like that. So... And she has such a wonderful, sweet personality. I love the way she de demonstrates stuff. She has these five-minute um, segments right now, like her top five blushes in five minutes. love some of the colors she uses for her eye looks. I'm going to put a link down below to her video. Please go check it out and uh, show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like. And if you did come from her channel, welcome. I hope you guys stick around and maybe hit the subscribe button down below because I do do videos every week in these segments, especially every Wednesday. So, all right, let's go ahead and get on to my products of what I'm liking and not so much. For hair products that uh, I thought I'd go ahead and give uh, a mention, and I have shared them before. The first one is the L'Oreal New Extraordinaire Oil Luster Oil Serum. It's an instant shine, silky touch, smoothing uh, oil serum that you could put in your hair. And it's from L'Oreal, and I really do love these oils. I really do. I What I usually do is... Uh, when my hair is still kind of like wet and damp, I'll take a couple pumps uh, from that and like work it and distribute it on one side and then take a couple pumps again and do on the other side. And I, I just, they, they really make my hair nice and shiny and silky and smooth. So I do really, really enjoy these oils. If, the other product is my Joya Co. This hair shake liquid to powder texturizing finisher. It just really can, I'll show you here, do really good things for your hair, like, you know, lock it into place. It's almost like, and it, but it doesn't leave it sticky. That's the great part. Like it smells great, doesn't leave it sticky. And, and texturizes your hair and gives you a lift and you know sets your hair for after you style it and everything. I really like this line Joyco that I've tried so far. They have sent me some of the products and I'm really liking what they've sent me. And I know Alta sells them, so I'm definitely, definitely going to check out and get some of their shampoos and conditioners and things like that to give a try. Okay, a product that I'm not liking, and it's just a sample because I love getting the perfume samples. Love getting them because, yeah, great way to try the perfume out and see if you like it or not. In the department store and spray on them little cards and sniff and smell and everything or the little perfume samples. And I like the other one that I got from Giorgio Armani. I think it's the Aqua something. That smells exceptionally great. I love it. I forget it's aqua something. I cannot fully remember the name. It's a really nice one. This one here, I think it's pronounced Sai, S-I. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, no. Sorry if this is your perfume and you like it or love it or any of that kind of stuff. It's just not perfume for me. It just is too strong of a perfume. I'll probably pass this on to somebody else if they want to finish using it up. 
it's just too strong for me. It's one of the ones that can burn my nose and just irritates me. And I just, I can't. So sadly, this is definitely a perfume I'm not going to get. We're going to go ahead and get into makeup because I think that's about all I have. I didn't have any skincare or anything. So I had shared this before and it's one of them products where I pulled it out and I'm like, you know, this is a really good foundation and it surprised me because it is from CoverGirl and this is the ultra smooth hair smoothing foundation and it had an applicator which the applicator was some kind of weird silicone thing and it claims to smooth the hair on your face you know how we get them peach fuzz and everything is supposed to smooth the hairs I, I personally myself use one of them small little razors that I do for my eyebrows. Just one of the little small little razors that you can get for your face. I use that to really get rid of my peach fuzz. So this is a really good and I would definitely say it's a full coverage foundation. Um, the only thing I don't feel you need is the applicator. The applicator is just no. Like you were supposed to use it and like smooth it along on your face. It was just weird. I don't know. I mean if anybody's tried this foundation and does use the applicator let me know because I just found it too weird and awkward it just didn't work mascara oh my goodness I had a sample of mascara and Joelle who I did a collab with on here I'm trying to remember her the name of her channel now I'll put a link to that video that her and I collabed of one of these series here and I had won a giveaway on her on her channel where I think it was like 2000 subscriber thing and so I've been slowly working into the products that she sent me in my little goodie bag and one of them was the Benefit uh, Roller Lash this Benefit Roller Lash and I have heard several people talk about it and like it and when I seen the wand at first I was like ugh it's curved like like that and they're very very small precise little um, you know like little combs on there so I thought oh I don't know I don't know if I'll really like this but I wanted to try it because you know it's a sample size and that is what I have on my eye lashes today and if you can see it is a really good uh, mascara it pretty much reminds me of similar to the more is more from Mally where it really flares and lengthens them and separates really nice. I don't have any problems with clumping so far with this and I would like to get the full size and work through a full size one so yeah that is a really good really good one. We're gonna go into eyebrows. This is from Mally Beauty and it's her brow gel and I love this brow gel. I haven't had it for a good while but I love how it um, works up and through for my the hairs and keeps them standing up straight it just seems to lock everything in and hold everything together some people like to get the clear Maybelline mascara stuff that they find works just as good only problem I used to have with the Maybelline one uh, back in the day was it used to ball up and you get them little white you probably know what I'm talking about them little white balls along your eyebrows yeah it's not a pretty picture this doesn't do that for me and never has and it is a little pricey it's like 20 some dollars and everything but it's well worth it so I would always continue purchasing that as long as I can get it I've been pulling out my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer this is a really good primer the thing is the uh, well, it's not called Fergie Take on the Day anymore. It's the Photo Photo Something Primer from Wet n Wild, the eye primer from Wet n Wild. This, it reminds me exactly of this Lorac primer. The only difference I think I can tell from with using both of them different times, this one stays a little more wet and you can work it through where the Wet n Wild dries very really quick so you have to be quick with that one that would be the only difference I think I would say and price obviously but this is a really good eye primer so it would be something I would think about if I wanted to splurge a day and you know just have it so I have a couple face products here I purchased both of these from HSN and I believe they came 
together. It was like, it was a great deal. It was like almost 30 bucks for both of them. And it's from the company called Coors. And oh, look at the packaging first of all on these. I think they still have these, but they sell them separately now. But these do did come in uh, a two pack. They came together. This is called Mykonos. This one here is the one that has like, you can see it like you have like your contour and then your blush and whatever on top here that you can pretty much just swipe through and then you're supposed to just glide it along. You know, like one of them ones where it does like the whole thing. I don't really do it that way. I do dip into here first and then work through and then use these two as a blush. There they are. They're kind of faint, really pretty. And the other one is called Santorino. I love this one. This is more of a bronzy. Now that you can use as your highlight. Put them by here. I've been playing around with those lately. And for another highlight I pulled out because I haven't had it for a while or been using it. I haven't been using it for a while is my Becca Champagne Pop. When this first came out, it was like all the rage and it was hard to get. And I was one of the lucky ones when it first came out, I could get it, you know. And it is a beautiful color. Um, even on my fair complexion, it does work out really nice. I have used it actually as an eyeshadow too. That's one thing I like about some of them. And I mean, oh my goodness, just this insane crazy. But it is a very pretty color. It's like a peachy peachy tone to it, you know, peach champagne color. Okay, another product, and I wasn't liking this so much, the palettes, um, it's the Moon, like, uh, baked eyeshadows, these baked eyeshadows from e.l.f. I, I don't know. I'm just not feeling them. I mean, they're pretty colors, not that they're not pretty colors. I'm just... I'm just not feeling them right now. Like there's that, I mean, they're pretty shades, you know, not that they're not pretty shades. Um, I might have to work with it more. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty color, but on me, like they don't go on so well after a while. Like they swatch really pretty, but they're not working too well on my eyes. Put it that way. So I'm not really digging these eyeshadows, uh, Elf could be a hit and miss for me for eyeshadows, quite honestly. An eyeshadow palette that I have been using and I pulled it back out. It's been a long time since I've used it. And that is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I haven't used this in so long. Y'all probably obviously know what it looks like in there because <laughs> you've seen it billions and trillions of times maybe. I don't have the semi-sweet one. I don't have the bon bon one. I have thought about getting some of those other ones because I do like the chocolate bar palette. I really do. And that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I do love this palette. So I'm thinking on it. It's a great palette to have. It really is. I think it's one of the palettes that almost seems to be a must palette for anybody to have. And then lastly, the lipstick I'm wearing today. With, you know, everybody knows I like my Kate Moss lipsticks and this is another one of the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks it's in the black uh, black tubes this one's in a nine oh nine and oh yeah like if you're looking for a nice red berry shade to wear for Christmas upcoming Christmas you know get together this is a really nice one and very affordable it's somewhere around seven dollars or something like that i mean that is a really this is more of the blue based red and blue blade blue based reds flatter me a lot more so that is what i'm wearing on my lips today and i think it's gorgeous so my beauties thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate that i'll have a link down below to annabelle marie's video so i'll have that link down below for you guys and if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up that would help me out so much really appreciate that maybe share my video and um yeah the more likes i get i get spread out a little bit more and it helps me to keep continuing on uh, sharing doing my videos and sharing with you guys and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. Love to have you. 
And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.